As expected, the Trump campaign has granted approval for the Keystone XL pipeline, following, of course, his campaign promises to uh, use more fossil fuels and to build this and the Dakota Access Pipeline. Now, earlier this morning, TransCanada had announced that the State Department has signed and issued a construction permit for the controversial pipeline. Uh, Russ Gerling, uh, TransCanada's president and chief executive, uh, in a statement said, quote, this is, a, this is a significant milestone for the Keystone XL pipeline. Uh, we greatly appreciate the President Trump's administration for reviewing and approving this important initiative. And we look forward to working with them as we continue to invest in and strengthen North America's energy infrastructure. Now, in a statement on Friday, the State Department said that in reviewing TransCanada's application in light of Trump's recent executive order, allowing these bo uh, both of these projects to go through, uh, officials determined that issuing a permit would, quote, serve the national interest no I, i'm not i'm not buying it that's actually not going to serve the national interest it's actually going to serve the uh trans canada's interest trans canada not a an american corporation is a canadian corporation it's actually a multinational corporation um the other interest it'll serve is the oil industry of course now we're doubling down on fossil fuels instead of moving away from fossil fuels, which what is what we should be doing. We should be moving away from those into cleaner energy, things like solar and wind and hydropower, et cetera, et cetera. But no, we're doubling down on fossil fuels. So this, these pipelines are a boon for the oil industry. Now, this pipeline specifically will be carrying tar sands through North America, not into North America, through North America to get refined and then shipped out of the country and sold on the world market. So this isn't domestic energy. This doesn't have anything to do with domestic energy. This is all using America as essentially a bridge, a pipe going through our country so they can refine the oil and sell it to other countries. This isn't American oil. This isn't American energy. This is Canadian energy and specifically TransCanada's energy. So <laughs> there's that. Now, how exactly does that serve the national interest? Oh, right. It does not. No, no, but Jeff, Jeff, look, okay, yes, all that's true. None of that is disputed by TransCanada. Uh, but remember, there are jobs. What about the hundreds of thousands, the 28,000 jobs that is going to be uh, created by this? Nowhere near 28,000 jobs. At most, it's going to be 3,000 jobs for one pipeline. Now, that would be temporary construction jobs as well. Um, the pipelines, after they're built, would have about 35, this one specifically, would have 35 permanent jobs and 15 temporary jobs. So, basically, all they're, all they're doing is, when it comes to jobs, there's going to be a handful of jobs. Do you feel like you're winning yet? I don't know. My head keeps spinning from all the from all the winning that we're doing here under the Trump administration. I, I you know I am just I am so so tired of winning. Can we just stop winning for a little bit? Because I I know we were losing for a while, but now we are we are no, we are winning, and it's there's it, too much. It's too much winning. Look, this is a monumental disaster. But it isn't something that we you know didn't see coming. We warned you about this. We told you, hey, Trump gets in. He's going to approve Dakota Access, 100%. He's going to approve Keystone XL, 100%. We knew this was coming. We could see this a mile away, and now it's finally happened. Now, look, again, they're doing this because all they care about are the profits of the multinational corporations who stand to make billions of dollars from these infrastructure projects, as well as their stakeholders. Now, interestingly enough, I, we reported before that at one point, Donald Trump was also a stakeholder in the company behind these projects. Phillips 66, as well as uh, 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 Donald Trump had investments in Phillips 66, as well as uh, TransCanada. So, uh, man. Now, of course, he did take the money out of there to avoid a conflict of interest. So, at least there, there is that for whatever uh, good that does. He still made a lot of money off this project. Now, not only that, are we building these pipelines now, but 
they're going to be taking people's land to do so. The Washington report, uh, Post reports that uh, Trump plans to use eminent domain to force people out uh, of their homes off their land uh, if they choose not to go in order to get this pipeline built. So this is a foreign corporation, right? TransCanada, a foreign corporation that is going to get Donald Trump, president of the United States, to force American citizens off their land to build a pipeline that's going to transport crude oil, tar sands, through the United States into Mexico or into Texas so it gets sent off to the world market. Where is the benefit in this? There is no benefit in this, yet we take all the risk. To con job. Con job. How much more are we going to allow these multinational corporations to crush us in the pursuit of profit? How much more? And unfortunately, with the Trump administration, this is only the beginning. Now, do you know who's cheering this on? The Chamber of Commerce. Of course, they've always been in favor of this uh, project and these kinds of projects. It's the only kind of infrastructure they, have, they even really care about. And when it comes to fixing you know, water pipes and all that stuff, uh, it's to make sure that they don't poison people in places like Flint and East Chicago, et cetera, et cetera. No, they don't care about that. No, they only care about this kind of infrastructure. They love this kind of stuff. More fossil fuels. Now, in a statement, Thomas Donahue, president of the Chamber of Commerce, said, quote, after many years of unfortunate delays and partisan posturing, <laughs> Keystone XL pipeline finally got the green light. It is long deserved. This pipeline and countless other projects around the nation will improve America's energy security, create jobs, and help get the economy back on track. Two of those things are flat out lies. That is a statement full of lies. So let me fix that here. Uh, this project will improve oil company profits, create a handful of jobs, and will exacerbate the effects of climate change, which is a real threat to the economy and to the world. That's what it should read. Who pays for the oil spills? We do. Who pays for the pollution from fossil fuels? We do. With higher rates of cancer and, and, and asthma. Who pays for the effects of climate change on our coastlines and on our crops? Our crops? It's not the oil company CEOs. No, it's you and me. It's the taxpayer. When the, when, when the Keystone XL pipeline spills, and it will, we're going to be asked to clean that up, to pay for that. It's going to be our tax money, not, ta not TransCanada. That's going to be our mess to clean up. You and me. What they do in these pipeline projects is they privatize the gains and they socialize the losses. Now, I got to ask you, are the profits of these oil companies really worth all that? Donald Trump and the Republicans think so. Look, the guy's already sold you down the river. And look, to be fair, this is what he told us he'd do. He told you to your face that, yes, we are going to build these pipelines. So I guess it's nothing unexpected. This is what his voters voted for. This is what they wanted him to do. So I guess they can't get mad when it's their water it ends up poisoning. So... <laughs> Elections have consequences. You can't take it back now. And whatever going on, uh, w whatever happens going forward into the future, it's on them. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com/tytnation.